Hi guys! Alright. I thought for a, maybe a special Friday treat we could read a super fun book. Can you guess what it is? Look at my shirt. Did that give you a clue? Look what's behind me. I have my stitch pillow. Yeah. We're going to read Lilo and Stitch. Go <gasps> Stitch, go. Oh, and guess what else? Guess who's here to sit with me and read this? Stitch! <laughs> He's going to sit with us while we read. Is that cool? Okay. Let's see if I can get him in a good spot, maybe. Okay, we'll see. Lilo and Stitch. Go, Stitch, go. One afternoon, Lilo saw Myrtle riding her trike up the street. Hey, Myrtle! Lilo yelled with a wave. She really wanted to be Myrtle's friend. I got a new dog. His name is Stitch. But Myrtle didn't like Lilo. She thought Lilo was weird. Is that very kind? I don't think so either. Ew, said Myrtle. That is the ugliest dog I ever saw. Was that very kind? No. You guys think Myrtle is very nice? I don't either. Makes me sad. Stitch made a face and stuck out his tongue. Actually, Stitch was not a dog at all. I mean, come on. Does this really look like a dog, you guys? No, I don't think so either. Stitch was really an alien who had crash landed in Hawaii. In case you guys don't know, Hawaii is a state way way down in the oceans some islands kind of far away from here he had tried to make himself look like a dog sort of so that Lilo would pick him at the animal shelter so far his plan had worked but two other aliens named Jumba and Pleakley wanted to capture Stitch they tried to dress as tourists and Pleakley even had to pretend he was a woman. Pleakley was an expert about Earth. We have to blend in, he reminded Jumba. But then Pleakley tripped over Jumba's foot. Whoa! He yelled as his wig went flying. That did it. Steach saw Pleakley and then he saw Jumba. He knew he had to get away quickly. If he was caught, he would be sent to prison in space. That doesn't sound very fun. Just then, Stitch had a great idea. Stitch grabbed Myrtle's bike and Lilo's hand and off they went. Hey, that's my bike! Myrtle yelled after them. Bye, called Lilo. Oh no, cried Pleakley. Stitch is getting away. We've got to do something. Jumbo wasn't about to let Stitch escape. Grab that scooter. We'll catch him. Lilo and Stitch rode all over the island. Up roads, down hills, around corners. Up ahead, Stitch saw a waterfall. He tried to stop and then splash. They got all wet. But Lilo didn't care. Stitch did care. He hated water. Lilo didn't realize that they were being chased, but Stitch knew that he and Lilo had to keep moving. Jamba and Pleakley rode under the waterfall too. They got soaked and didn't like it one bit. But the chase was still on. Jamba called out, when are you ready to give up? Just let us know. Ha ha. 
soon, Stitch came to a cliff at one end of the island. He knew Jumba and Pleakley were close behind, but there was nowhere to go. Just lots and lots of water below. Stitch was trapped. How do you think he felt? Scared? Yeah. And Stitch was not going to give himself up. He waited until Jumba and Pleakley were almost at the edge. And then Stitch quickly turned around and sped the other way. But Jumba and Pleakley zoomed right off the cliff. And into the water. Ah! Screamed Jumba and Pleakley. Luckily, the pair of aliens landed right on a surfboard. A little later, Lilo and Stitch rode through a local market. Yum, said Lilo, looking at a piece of fruit. The others had made it from the beach to the market, too. No, yelled Pleakley as Jumba drove right through the stand. But Jumba didn't care. He wanted Stitch. Oh my goodness, what are those? What are all those yellow things? Bananas. Jumba and Pleakley left the market and were gaining on Lilo and Stitch. They rode past a sleeping volcano. Suddenly, the volcano began to rumble. Smoke started to fill the sky. <gasps> Uh-oh! Said Lilo looking back. The volcano was waking up. Go, Stitch, go! She cried. Stitch rode faster and faster as the lava began to flow. Ha ha, we have him now, Jumba said. The aliens were getting closer. But so was the lava. Oh man, what do you guys think is going to happen? Finally, Jumba and Pleakley gave up and jumped off the scooter. They climbed a tree to escape. Pleakley explained, I just have determined this situation to be far too hazardous. Bah! snorted an angry Jumba. Good dog, Lilo cheered. Good boy, Stitch. Good boy. The, she never noticed the pair left behind. Stitch made it to safety. That was fun, cried Lilo. Let's do it again! An exhausted Stitch just rolled his eyes. The end. You like that story? Show me those wiggly fingers. Alright guys. That's it for today. I'll see you guys soon.